welcome back. I have been slowly rebuilding the stairs between the two floors of my house. So slow, I'm not even sure how long I've been working on it. Three, maybe four years. But anyway, for the last several months, I have been trying to focus in on projects and get them completely done. So this handrail is just one step towards saying these stairs are finished. Hopefully within another month or two, I'll be there. Without further ado, let's get to it. I want the top of the railing to be 33 and a half inches and then I have measured down for the railing. Make sure you measure the railing on an angle, not flat. And then I've also measured down for the bracket, which brings me down to 29 and a half inches. Measure 29 and a half from the bottom step and the top step and then put two nails in there, connected them with a string, and that is gonna give me the placement of the bottom screw on the bracket. Just wanna align the bottom hole up with the string, make sure it's looking pretty vertical, and then get ready to drill some holes. Make sure you know where your studs are, but in this case, when I was framing this wall, I actually put a big 2x12 in right here just so I could put a bracket definitely uh, close to the edge. Finish it up by hand. Want to make sure the power tool doesn't over tighten it. So there we go. One down, three to go. Ought to go pretty quick. Just need to make sure I know exactly where these studs are. And for that, I just use a simple stud finder. This one's put out by Stanley. Never had an issue with it. But uh, when I bought a TV bracket, it came with this tiny one, and I think it works just as well. Here we go. All right. Only thing left to do is to drill and screw for the brackets that hold the handrail to the wall bracket. Might notice the return on the railing, that is to building code. And uh, you can do that with a miter saw, and then you can nail it or screw it together, but that is the whole reason I made that doweling jig a couple videos back. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know it was a little different than my normal videos, but this was a project I needed to get done, and I thought maybe other people would benefit from seeing how simple it is. Well, have a great weekend, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.